I had a lot of issues with hair loss earlier. It started about 10 years ago, but I'm always concerned about losing my hair because that's just, it's not a good thing. My mom had hair loss, my grandmother, and I, you know, I don't want to be 60 and bald. I, I had no fear about using my own stem cells. I have fear about the pharmaceutical industry. I was suffering with some hot flashes before, and I take this supplement for the hot flashes that is specifically for menopause. And on purpose, I stopped taking them at the beginning of the week because I wanted to see if I can sleep through the night without any hot flashes with the treatments that I'm having. And I haven't had any hot flashes or no issues at all. So no hormonal issues, nothing. I've been, it's been really great. There's no better investment and there's nothing more important than your health ultimately, right? There are a lot of shady clinics around that are you know, not up to this kind of standard. And um, maybe don't look for the cheapest clinic and try to save money on something like this because you, know, it's, you get what you pay for. It's, I think it's probably one of the best natural treatments that you can do for yourself. Could you please introduce yourself and tell us a bit about your background? So, uh, my name is Lynn Hardy and I'm a naturopath and a nutritional consultant. Uh, I've been in the natural health field my whole life. I'm also the founder of The Aging Games, which I started during lockdown, and an author of two books. Can you please tell us about Aging Games? Uh, what's the company about? Um, it's not really a company, it's just sort of like my little special brand that started kind of as a hobby and uh, with a YouTube channel. So I just try to educate ladies over 50 who are going through similar things that I am and to help them to deal with nat uh, natural ways of dealing with menopause and changes in our bodies, diet, lifestyle, exercise, and just healthy tips in general. I don't have any physical problems. I know a lot of people that come here, they're, they're suffering from very serious diseases and you know, issues and a lot of neurological problems, and I didn't have any of those things. For me, it's really about prevention. Um, you know, as we get older and we see people with their sick parents and grandparents, and, and you see all these people going through different changes and really difficult times, it makes, it makes you realize that, you know, you're next, and, and how important it is to, to stay healthy and to maintain your health. Because if you don't look after yourself now, then you know, 10 years, 20 years down the road, you're gonna be in the same boat. So for me, using my own stem cells is really about prevention, about staying healthy. And I really trust the whole process and I trust that if there is something going on in my body and if there's any issues, the stem cells will find these places and will be able to heal them. And I also believe in my body's own ability to heal itself. And I really think that the stem cells would help this process along. So as far as health-wise, that's what I was hoping to achieve. And then of course, um, there's the aesthetic part of using stem cells. I had a lot of issues with hair loss earlier. It started about 10 years ago. And I've had stem cell treatments before to the scalp and also PRP treatments, which helped a lot. But I'm always concerned about losing my hair because that's just, it's not a good thing. My mom had hair loss, my grandmother, and I, you know, I don't want to be 60 and bald. So um, I really wanted to use the stem cells for hair rejuvenation, also for my face, because um, I've heard really good things about it. And um, so I just wanted to combine the health and the aesthetic part of stem cell usage. What therapies did you try for anti-aging purposes before resorting to stem cells in our clinic? So I've done a lot of treatments like lasers, radio frequency, ultrasound. I do PRP, which is platelet-rich plasma regularly. They derive that from your from your blood and then you can have that injected into your face and your scalp. I've been doing that for regularly for about 12 years, which is also very effective and similar to stem cells, but obviously stem cells would be much more potent and much more effective, but I've tried everything. <laughs> what brought you to the clinic? To the clinic? Well, I've had my own stem cells banked for the past 12 years um, back in Switzerland and I've been looking for a place where I can actually use my stem cells. So because it's still very regulated and controlled in most countries, it's not as easy as you think. I always thought I could just take my stem cells, have them shipped to a clinic in Spain, for example, have them injected and you're done, but it doesn't actually work like that. So even the shipping is very complicated. Um, there is all kinds of laws that regulate stem cell usage. So I have always just, you know, I was hitting the wall every time I looked at ways of actually using my stem cells, I didn't find anything, any possibilities for it. So um, I was really happy when I came across your clinic. It actually, um, when I was searching, it was always popping up in Google on the top of Google. So that's really good for you guys. 
And um, so I decided to contact the clinic and they were very responsive. They got back to me right away. And I, and, you know, I felt like, okay, finally there's hope that I can actually use my cells and not just you know, let them sit there or go to waste. What have you heard about stem cells uh, that you decided to try stem cells? Um, well, the fir I first heard about them many years ago because I've had mine in the, in the bank for 12 years and I had stem cell therapy 12 years ago as well. So it's not new to me. Um, this was in Austria many years ago. But, um, you know, in the meantime, I've done a lot of research and I think there have been a lot of advances with stem cell therapies, a lot of new things coming out and a lot of new things that are you are able to do with it that we weren't able to do before. And hopefully it's going to con continue to progress and it will be available to more people and for more conditions as we learn more about what these things can do for us. Mm -hmm. And what did you do 20 years ago in Austria? Um, in, it was 12 years ago. What, what they did was uh, they derived my stem cells from adipose tissue and they, insert, they did injections into my face and my neck, into my scalp. I believe we also did the scalp back then. And they also did like an IV infusion with the stem cells. I, I saw some improvements on the skin. I mean, I was still younger, you know, I was, I was 12 years younger. So, uh, you know, obviously I was, my skin still looked much better. But I kind of, I, so, you know, there was definitely a glow, more tightening effect. But I think you're kind of pay, play, paying it forward with the stem cells that it's also preventing future damage to your skin. So I think to help even to maintain what you have, it can be really helpful. Did you have any concerns or fears about trying stem cell treatments? I, I had no fear about using my own stem cells. I have fear about the pharmaceutical industry. So I, I you know, I trust anything natural and you know this is autologous it's my own cells so i didn't have any safety or health concerns at all about that um no i there was no concern at all have you noticed any improvements so uh, while you're in, in the clinic well i feel really you know energetic and i feel really just very optimistic and enthusiastic about everything every day i look forward to my treatments i really enjoy them i i really think there is like a nice improvement on the skin that you can see already I was really happy that there was like no redness or anything after all those injections that I had. I was able to go to the mall in the evening and walk around and, and I was fine. Nobody was looking at me funny or anything. So I definitely see a, an improvement in the skin quality. I, I'm a very healthy person, so it's very difficult to, you know, to say what kind of improvements I'm going to have. But for sure, I have noticed that you know, I, I, I was suffering with some hot flashes before and I take this supplement for the hot flashes that is specifically for menopause and on purpose I stopped taking them at the beginning of the week because I wanted to see if I can sleep through the night without any hot flashes with the treatments that I'm having and I haven't had any hot flashes or no issues at all so no hormonal issues nothing I've been it's been really great um, the sleep hasn't been the best because I'm in a hotel and it just takes me a long time to get used to sleeping in new places. So I can tell you more about that once I'm back home and you know, and all the stress of getting up earlier and all this stuff is gone, then, then I can see if my sleep also improves. I'm really hoping for that. I'm hoping my eyesight will improve. That, that would be fantastic if I didn't need glasses or if, if it didn't continue to deteriorate. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm super optimistic. And I really think it's, it's like I said, you're just kind of investing in your future. And when people say, you know, I, I've been documenting everything on, on my page on Instagram, so I'm getting a lot of questions and a lot of questions about money and how much it costs and, oh, it must be expensive and stuff like that. But, you know, I often think like really the best investment you can make is in your health. Like all these people that are complaining, oh, you must spend a lot of money on this. Yeah, but how much do you spend on Starbucks coffees? Just have two, three coffees every day, for example, right? Or when people are drinking alcohol or going out to party every weekend or, you know what I mean? Like people spend money on so many stupid things that are actually destroying their health. So I prefer to take that money and invest in my health and in my future because I think there's, there's no better investment and there's nothing more important than your health ultimately, right? What were your expectations uh, about the treatments? What was my expectation before coming here? Yeah. Um, I would, I, it was, it's, it's really hard to say. I wasn't, you know, I didn't know much about Serbia, so I wasn't, I didn't know what the clinic was going to be like. I didn't know what the people were going to be like. So um, I heard they were very friendly, so that was good. That kind of put my mind at ease. But, um, you know, the first day coming into the clinic, it's like your first day at school because you don't know anyone. So you kind of walk in and you're, you feel like a stranger. But 
the nice thing here is that everyone made you feel so welcome. So like the second day coming back was like coming home. You know, everyone knows you by name and it's like you just, you're just made to feel really welcome and at ease. And because it's not such a clinical setting, like you don't feel like you're in a clinic or a hospital, it feels more like you're in a home. So it's, it's, you feel comfortable and it's warm and you trust the people that are here. You see that it's really professionally done, very well organized and everyone is super attentive and helpful. So I felt, I felt really comfortable from day one. Could you walk us through your experience in the clinic? There was a driver waiting for us at the airport with the sign and um, they picked us up. They took us to the hotel right away. The hotel, we were staying at the Falkensteiner, very nice hotel, really nice staff as well. Amazing breakfast, love the breakfast. You know, all the different dips and the salads and everything. So you can have a really nice, healthy breakfast. Um, the clinic, so uh, the first day that I came in, they did um, blood tests, a full physical exam. I met like all the doctors and the nurses and everyone. They put the catheter in for the IV drips. And um, so my typical day, each day at the clinic has been a little bit different each day. Some certain, certain treatments we were doing every day. One is the, um, the magnetic resonance machine, which is called M. MBST, correct? Yes, MBST. MBST. <clears throat> so um, that one is really great for women, you know, getting near menopausal age to prevent osteoporosis, to maintain joint health, a strong spine, all of these things are really important. So I was doing an hour in that machine every day. Uh, the only thing that's kind of challenging with that machine, you can't play on your phone, you can't really do anything. So you're like kind of lying there staring at the ceiling for an hour, but it's also a nice way to kind of just relax and meditate and and not do anything because in our busy lives we never actually lie there for an hour and not do anything ever right um, so that was a daily thing for me i also did pressotherapy every day that's for an hour as well pressotherapy helps with lymphatic drainage which is also really important if you're especially if you're holding on to extra fluid and then it's really nice how they combine the therapies so while i'm in these machines i have the iv drip going so i don't have to spend an extra hour or two hours with the drips you know I'm, I'm in the machine having my drip done the nurses are always coming back and forth and checking to make sure the drips are working properly that the needle is in properly and uh, you know once they run out they change the bag so you know they're very good with that it's not like you're just left to your own devices and no one's checking on you and you know maybe you're experiencing pain or the drips not working and there's nobody there it's not like that at all there's always somebody nearby and every few minutes someone's checking on you, which I think is really great. Um, the clinic is super clean and really, really well organized. I mean, down to the last little details, such as I noticed that the coffee machine is hooked up to mineral water. Like there's a big bottle of mineral water behind it. You know, I mean, how cool is that? So you're not putting tap water even into the coffee. I think that's great. Well done. And um, so the other treatments that I was having, I had uh, stem cell. IV infusion. I had exosome IV infusion. Every day I was given an exosome mask, also of my, derived from my own stem cells. And this is for rejuvenating the face from the outside. And then I had a procedure where we injected stem cells into my face, neck, decollete, and also arms and the abdominal, abdominal region. And um, so this was done in the operating room. I have to tell you, I was super imp impressed with the operating room. Um, very clean, very high tech, super professional. You, you, we went through like a decontamination room before we went in there. I got a little glimpse into the lab where they're actually making the stem cells and very nice lab, like what you see in the movies, you know, the biologist in the hazmat suit handling the cells and everything. So that was very cool to see. Um, the doctor that did my procedure, he was amazing, super nice. He didn't speak English, so I had a translator there and she translated everything. She did videos for me, she was very helpful. And um, so he was great, he explained everything to me in great detail, exactly what we're gonna do, what the procedure entails. And they told me not to have breakfast in case I experienced any discomfort during the treatment. They were happy to give me some sedation, so everyone Everyone's top priority was to make sure that I'm comfortable and I'm at ease and that I'm not in pain in any way. So we proceeded with this procedure. Um, they applied topical anesthetic lidocaine to the parts of my body, except for the scalp. So the doctor started with the scalp. Okay, the scalp is a little bit sensitive and, and because there's no topical anesthetic applied, 
Of course, that's gonna be a little bit painful, but it wasn't unbearable. And because I do treatments like this often, I'm used to the pain, so I didn't need the sedation. And then after that, we did the face and the neck, and that was absolutely fine, no pain at all. And then the doctor pulled out this radio frequency device which has micro needles inside. I'm not, are they micro or just regular needles? I'm not sure. But um, so what happens with the radio frequency it penetrates deep into your skin. And, um, and then it gives you the shot of the radio frequency deep into the dermis. And they also apply the, the stem cells. So you're actually pushing the stem cell into the skin with the, with the needles and the radio frequency together. So we also had that treatment at the same time. What advice would you give to someone considering stem cell treatment for anti-aging? For anti-aging? Well, I would, I would tell them if you're going to bank, if you're going to be using your own stem cells, because obviously you have this option of using donor cells or you can use your own stem cells. I'm very partial to using my own stem cells. Um, but so if you're looking to use your own stem cells, bank them, take them and bank them probably as young as you can, because I think it's probably more effective the younger you are. So because my stem cells are 12 years, old or young or so they I would they were derived when I was younger they are more potent they will be stronger cells than if I were to bank them now right but then again if I would bank them now in 10 years they would still be considered younger cells so uh, if you're considering this for a future treatment then you know take your cells and put them in a in a bank as fast as you can or as quick as you can and I would also tell people you know do your research and really research the clinic where you're going. Make sure that it's right for you. There, I think there there are a lot of shady, there are a lot of shady clinics around that are you know not up to this kind of standard. And um, maybe don't look for the cheapest clinic and try to save money on something like this because you know it's you get what you pay for. It's like when people go and get plastic surgery in strange countries and try to save money and then things just go horribly bad. So make sure you're going to the right clinic, that you're in the right hands. And um, it's, I think it's probably one of the best natural treatments that you can do for yourself.